my channel, I'm Matt, this is Mark Smart, and today was not going to be Spitfire Wednesday because I didn't have any issues, but luckily we can do Spitfire issues because I've just got my next delivery and we have got issue 75 of building Mark 1 Spitfire and I'm so happy to be back building something. It just seems like an age since I last uh, did some building, but uh, I'm really looking forward to this one. Um, but we are starting on the base today, so that's going to be interesting. But what I will do at the end of the video, I will do a quick catch up on where things are with the part works and what's going to be happening basically. So, with all that said, let's get modelling. Okay, so now we start working on the display stand. So we've got these two black pieces. Let me just tie the uh, camera up a bit. There we go. If you wouldn't do that. There we go. Okay, so we've got these two pieces, and what we need to do is, it does say to note the uh, numbers on these pieces. Now, there's a number one here, and there's a number one there, and that's the way it wants it, as it says in the magazine. So, we're just going to connect them two pieces up together, and then we've got this fixing plate here. We're going to literally put that on there, and then we need to screw it down with for 2.5 times 6 millimeter PWB screws. So I'll get four of them. It's the black screws you get in this issue. And we'll just screw this down. This is the first time I've been able to use my wearer um, PHO screwdriver on this build. Because it's been the PH double O that the uh, screws like. Okay, so that's them two in place. They do need to be in quite a bit, but obviously don't over tighten them because you'll break the thread and you'll have a bad time of it. But obviously, it needs to be rigid. Okay, so we've done that now, they're all in place, and that's sort of made that bit quite rigid now. Okay, so the next bit we need to do is we need to get panel number one, which is this one, it's got a one on it, just there. Now, it wants us to put it in basically like that, and then we need to screw it down. Now, we're using nuts and bolts here, so... I'm going to get a, a nut and these are uh, 4 times 8.5 millimeter PM screws. I'm going to be doing lots of uh, label making today. Just going to turn that on its side. Okay, and then we'll get the washer. Oh, picked up two there, I thought. No, I've only got the one. And then we're going to get the nut. Now I have been told because um, obviously when people get their deliveries some people like to uh, do theirs all in one go. But I have been told this base is going to be absolutely huge. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put a screwdriver behind it. Get a little spanner and tighten this up. I do want it to be as tight as it will go. Okay, so that's the first one in. Now it never says anything about putting anything on this side, but we need now board number two, which is this one. And this is just going to go in exactly the same, like that. Again, we're going to put it up on its side while I do this, because it's easier for me. And we need to put bolt through. Well, it's not saying it's a bolt, it's saying these are screws, but. So, get that in there. Then go to the other side. You can see it on camera. It doesn't help that the odds. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a clamp at the top. 
There we go. That's made that a lot more sturdy, if you can see. Get the other washer on. Again, I hate these tiny nuts. I really do. I thought we were over them with the Terminator, but um, they've decided to resurface. Um, it's only because my hands are quite large as well. Okay, so we've got that in. I'm just going to do the same. Hope if you use the correct side to do it. Now, I don't know how much of the stand we're going to get to build. Well, it's not the stand, it's the display base, really. I don't know how much of that we are going to get to build, but. Um, probably quite a bit I would have thought okay now they're in place we need to lay it now flat now this is where I'm gonna need two hands because we've got this um, part here this is the support bracket and again we're gonna be putting this in again with the uh, bolts but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start one off Right, so let's get this on the side again. I want to make sure I put this in correctly as well. Right, so. Right, okay. Right, so holding that in place, I'm going to get a washer. And getting up right and just partially screw that one on then I'm gonna get the next one wash up and nut they do give you spares on all of these now they're partially in I'll get them tightened up I was hoping in this issue we might have found out what that third motor's for. But not to be help if you use the side that it needs. That's that one done up partially. I'm going to do, tighten these up properly, but it just is a bit of a pain lining everything up. Right, I'm there now, in place. Well, oh, that was a bit harder than what I thought. I mean, that side, that plate wasn't, but that plate, wow. And this is considerably some size. So this is an A2 cutting mat. So if I measure the base at the moment, this is measuring uh, 490 millimeters. So we're talking yeah we're talking 490 millimeters or 490 centimeters i do not know what that is in inches because um i did millimeters and centimeters at school and not the other way around but that is the base so far and it's looking rather nice um the next three issues we do have are the base and i think that's what it's going to be for a while um but i'm really happy with that i'm really chuffed um and yeah so that's issue 75 complete well that is it for spitfire wednesdays for today folks thanks for tuning in really really enjoyed that it's so nice to be back building again after 
problems I'm, I'm currently having. So a quick update on them. I've got four uh, Spitfires now, so they are ready to go for the next uh, three weeks. Um, I've also got um, the Bismarck. That's, um, I've still got issues with the Bismarck to do. Uh, the DeLorean, unfortunately, I'm still waiting on, on issue 41 and issue 42 for that. So I cannot continue with that at all. The X-Wing, I have had an email saying it's on my way, on its way, so it should be here any day. So I might do some of that at the weekend or maybe Friday. And, uh, well, that's if it comes in time. Uh, the Ecto-1, now, I've obviously stopped that until I get that replacement door which is going to be in issue 107. Now I've just had notification that the next set of issues are on their way. So I will be able one step closer to getting that replacement door. I've got this next delivery that I've been notified about and then the delivery after that will be issue 107 and we can finally get that replacement door put into the X01 and then I will catch that up as quick as I can. Um, so there might be quite a few Ectos coming along. Now the Enterprise D, that again, uh, they're saying they're out of stock of issue 7, um, a Regal Moss. So there's nothing I can do with the Enterprise D I and mean, it's so disheartening because I'm seeing so many other modellers getting on with theirs and everything and I'm really stuck behind here. Um, but the, all the problems I seem to be having are problems with Eagle Moss. It's just ridiculous at the moment. Um, so I'm only really stuck with what I can build um, but I will try and get as much as I can out uh, for you. It was my choice to sort of pause the Ecto-1 to get that door but it's just the way I work. I can't have something missing out of it. I've got to get on and get it done. Um, so uh, that's basically is what it is with the, uh, with the models at the moment. Um, there's not much I can do about it and it's just basically a waiting game. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell and you'll be notified of any future videos. But as for always, guys, stay safe and bye for now.